hands and sell tickets to survive. There's no doubt. No, you got that right. All right, TJ, let's get uh, let's get one last topic in here while we've got you. Um, UFC obviously is rocking and rolling. They're doing their thing. Boxing just came back on Tuesday night. They had top rank uh, do a, an ESPN event. Shakur Stevenson uh, KO'd Kara uh, Bea. Um, it, it was it was a great showing by him. You know what what do we have to look forward to with boxing? I know that we've got Tyson Fury and um, uh, the Bronze Bomber coming up in October, I believe. Uh, what what do we have to look forward to? Who can we point at and say, all right, this is who we need to be paying attention to? Thank you for the uh, for the tee up on boxing, and we've been writing about it and talking about it on Big Fight Weekend podcast. Finally, we have fights uh, again. Top Rank is going to be back on ESPN tonight. You haven't really heard of the guys that are fighting in these early shows. They're not championship huge names as of yet. Because, again, in fairness, they, they don't know what to expect here on these first few shows and what happens if a fighter tests positive. They already had a female fighter test positive uh, back uh, last weekend. She's disputing that, by the way. She got asked to leave, and she's saying, I had proof before I came there that, that uh, I was not contagious. I have more proof now that I was not contagious. I should have been allowed to fight, and she may be back on another show. Shakur Stevenson is probably the most prominent fighter that is going to be on these June fights uh, for top rank because he's a former American silver medalist at the Olympics. He won a world title his last time out. He, he dominated a nobody uh, the other night. But it's a real challenge because, again, back to the same point, guys, they want to have live gate. They want to have thousands of fans come to these. And you, and you mentioned um, the Raiders and Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, they make make use of that football stadium to be able to socially distance uh, coming here in the fall where you can have 15 or 20,000 like you would normally have and spread them out to come be part of the live fight in a huge football stadium. So that may be on the agenda. But for right now, Top Rank deserves a lot of credit. They've got boxing program on, programming on a couple of nights a week. There are a couple of weeks here in June where they're going to go Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So live boxing is back. Again, not the most recognizable names. That's a bit of a struggle. But we'll get back to some of the bigger names like Canelo Alvarez. The Fury-Wilder rematch may even be later in the year, Gary and Chris. It might not be October. It might be November or December. And who knows if that's in the U.S., in Vegas again, or if it's somewhere else. They've been theorizing that it might be in Australia as a location or a couple of other places they fought last year. You mentioned Ruiz, Chris. Ruiz and Anthony Joshua fought in Saudi Arabia last December. So yeah. we'll wait to see uh, where some of these bigger names end up coming back and fighting uh, in the next few weeks, couple of months. But uh, for right now, some fights is – I'm with you guys. Some fights better than no fights at all. You got that right. Uh, last thing before we let you go, they announced uh, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Uh, what, what are your thoughts here? Did I miss something? Did I mean, Tyson they, they, Fury beat? Did, did I miss that he beat Deontay Wilder for the final time nope, nope. to set up what's going to happen? Did I miss that? <laughs> I know we've been on quarantine. That's, that's what we those, talked those about. Those guys are signed and sealed for a rematch. Anthony Joshua has another opponent yeah, uh, that you guys don't know, won't know, won't care. Yep. He's a Bulgarian that he has to fight to keep one of his titles as a mandatory challenger until those guys fight. Uh, you know, uh, Joshua is mandatory, and Fury gets by Wilder again. Then, then we shouldn't be worried about what Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury have signed to. I, I found know, it I strange. Know the I... English, the English promoter Eddie Hearn is all excited about this, but we still got fights to go. That, that's like a team declaring themselves ready for Super Bowl Fifty Five here in Tampa in February, and they're doing it in the first month of the season. Uh, you got to play the games. That's you kinda, play the games. That was my thought process. Here is it, Chris and I both said. Okay, well, what happens if if either of them no, loses? No, no, Chris didn't. Chris, no, Chris, Chris said, disagrees Chris with said this have completely. The fights. Chris said have the fights. Uh, like it's it's still going to be entertaining. A great fight is a great fight. It doesn't matter if the guy is undefeated. It doesn't matter if both these guys lose their next fight. Can we still watch them fight and it still be a great fight just because they both lost the last fight that they had? I think I think maybe you don't announce it until later because there it's not as much hype now. Like it, it's just yeah, it's well, they're desperate. Weird. They're desperate over in the UK to get some kind of boxing going, get some kind of news. They know that Fury's a draw, but here's what Fury's figured out: the money's in the US as well. The oh, money's yeah. in Las Vegas with Bob Arum and Top Rank, and more than likely, that fight with Wilder is going to be in Vegas late this year. 
Um, and so let's see what happens in that one. Can, can Wilder regroup and recover from what we discussed on your show in February when he was completely outclassed and overmatched? Or was he exposed once and for all as a limited fighter that only has the big bomb right hand? That's the intrigue of that fight. But that fight has to happen first before we care about Fury and Joshua. There's my, there's my two cents. Hey, you got that right. <laughs> All right, he is TJ Reeves. You can follow him on Twitter at Buck Sideline Guy. Uh, go download the uh, Three Dog Thursday podcast, the yes. Big Fight Weekend podcast. Make sure you subscribe to those. Leave a nice review. Tell him we sent you. He uh, he appreciates reading those. I know. Uh, TJ, thank you so much for jumping in here, man. We're uh, we're gonna go ahead and let you go. I always love being on with you guys. And by the way, on the Three Dog Thursday podcast, this is the anniversary week of Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson being oh, yeah. in my hometown, your area, in Memphis, Tennessee in 2002. There's a couple of great stories on the podcast about that fight at the at the Pyramid, what's now the Bass Pro Shops in downtown <laughs> Memphis. Check it out on the podcast. Always good to be with you, Winning Cures, dude. Thank yeah, absolutely. you. Thank you, you brother. Be good. All right. TJ Reeves jumping in here. Uh, Damien jumped in and said, have them fight in outer space, damn it. <laughs> Just have it somewhere. Who cares? Uh, Joseph, going back to an earlier conversation, Joseph Gomez said, if you bought a PSL for a seat, how are you going to tell someone they can't come and others they can? That's big liability lawsuits if they pick and choose. Chris, you agree with that? Yeah, no, I I don't think they're going to do that, by the way. I think I think they're packing these things out. I, really, I think you're right. Right or wrong, good or bad for the country, not – irrelevant to this conversation the nfl is going forward they are a train that is moving and they are going to be on time i think uh, i think you're right I they're think coming in on time and on budget have you seen anything else that we need to hit today nope that's it not a thing all right so no breaking news that is wonderful a little earlier than usual but that is okay that means i get to get the podcast out a little bit earlier everybody that's been in the chat you guys are wonderful thank you so much for joining us every single day uh, Monday through Friday, we jump in in the afternoon, and we try and fill your life with a little more sports talk. That's uh, sports talk and guy talk. So the Elon Musk thing I know was not was not sports talk, but, eh, you know, I'm interested in that kind of stuff. So I'm going to bring it up because it's our show. So <laughs> it's what it is. All right, you guys are great. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you're subscribed to the podcast, subscribed to the live feeds. Share the show out with your buddies. Leave a nice review. And... As always, oh, tunicatravel.com. Go to tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi, South's premier sports gambling destination. They bring you the show every day. Uh, you guys are great. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the